In this video, we are going to have a look at Fortnite Predator skin event. Predator is causing havoc and Agent Jonesy might have one or two or more plans to defeat Predator, which might result in the biggest battle Fortnite has ever seen in the history of the game. Also, please use code SAMJAM and show me proof like Kenzo for a shout out and also like and subscribe for this cute puppy. Come on, how can he not? All right, fams, as we all know, Predator is going to be this season's mystery skin. I personally wanted Agent Jonesy, but hey, I'm not complaining. But I bet you guys I did know there is going to be an event and pretty much everything has been added to the files for the event but before we get into that let's quickly talk about few Fortnite leaks and news coming up in the 15.21 update a little fun fact here it's been three years since the POIs like tilted towers and shifty shafts has been added to the game I mean it's crazy where has the time gone I remember in the early days it was really hard for me to eliminate someone so I finally knocked someone during a squad game and instead of trying to fight the rest of the squad i tried really hard to eliminate the guy who i downed and finally did it even though i got eliminated straight after by his teammates i was so happy i really missed those days man fams let me know in the comments down below your first eliminations in the game or just a favorite moment in fortnite if you don't remember it and i might feature it on my next video all right so we have more information about the next gen starter pack now this is going to include the ruby shadow skin the sky shadow glider and also the shadow slice now these are going to be the items exclusive to the next gen consoles like ps5 and xbox also the sand tunneling are expected to be back soon now there were a lot of bugs involving sand tunneling and players were like abusing them doing crazy glitches not going to lie to you i might be one of them now we have more information about the typhoon skin that was leaked there is going to be a portal at steamy stacks and we have more information on this so mango on twitter revealed the skin will be a female it will have a reactive styles and also the portal will have custom flickering effects now the rumor has it that it might be lara croft from tomb raider series but there is a possibility that it might be someone else as well i mean let me know in the comments down below who do you guys think is going to be so it looks like fortnite weapons are getting attachments or mods very soon so if you guys don't know about weapons attachments it's very common in battle royales like apex legend you can find weapons attachments like rifle scope or suppressor in chest or floor and you can uh, customize your weapons during a game for example make your normal scar to a suppressed scar or add like a scope to it now hypex tweeted this recently we might get a new weapons mechanics at some point epic started testing a new thing called weapon mod slots and it seems like it gives the weapons abilities or attachments now you can add the mod and drop it anytime it's planned to be an item weapons have specific valid mods that work with them based on its function weapons have multiple mod slots as well now fortnite br feed on twitter posted this picture of how it might look like as you can see it's a normal scar but you can add stuff like thermal scope to get the thermal vision suppressor to make it silent tactical laser to give more accuracy and this thing right here to have a bigger magazine size as well now this looks pretty op to me to be honest imagine like making like legendary items even more powerful or even like golden sky imagine making that thing powerful but at the same time it kind of looks fun to be honest fams what do you guys think do you think this will make the game better in your opinion let me know in the comments down below all right finally before we talk about the predator event february crew pack skin as we predicted on this video is going to be female midas now this has been pretty much confirmed fortnite posted this it says here is a new face from the world of fortnite now basically meaning a skin from fortnite but with a new face but this fox emoji is basically the biggest hint because the artist who actually created female midas is called kitsu which basically means fox so this has been pretty much confirmed all right fans let's talk about the predator event now this event actually has a code name and it's called fortnite nightmare event not to be confused with fortnite mare event so this beam has appeared uh, from the zero point and it looks like it's heading towards a stealthy stronghold thing now most of you guys might think this is the portal where agent jonesy will bring the season's mystery skin a predator well that is not true fans we all know after the recent fortnite update we saw this spaceship crashed in stealthy stronghold now this spaceship actually belongs to the predator and if you speak with npcs around the stealthy stronghold poi they actually reveal that the predator is already in the game right now this one saying something jumped on my car and made a swerve into a ditch when i got out it was vanished and this dirt burger guy says i was just flipping some patties when some
some sort of laser sight showed up on my grill, terrifying. So if you guys don't know, Predator actually has a laser on his shoulder that he uses to actually aim. And finally, uh, this one right here says, people in the jungle are turning up wounded, some kind of blades, nasty stuff. Okay, now she is referring to a Predator's blade. Now this might actually be a hint what the next mythic weapon is actually gonna be. Also, this creepy sound can be heard in the jungle, which is the sound the Predator makes, meaning that the Predator is hiding somewhere around here and escapes occasionally to cause trouble. Now, you might be wondering how did Predator get to the Fortnite world? It was actually brought here by the Seven to create chaos and to distract the Imagine Order while they plan to break out of the Fortnite world. The Seven tried to destroy the Zero Point before hoping it would break the Fortnite loop but failed and created a black hole. Now they are trying to escape through the Zero Point. You can also hear the Seven trying to communicate if you go to this part of the Stealthy Stronghold. Now what's interesting is that this is the exact spot where the new portal is going to open. Now you might be wondering who is going to be coming through the portal. Well that would be the Terminator aka Arnold. Now Arnold also played Dutch in the Predator movie series as well, who is basically the enemy of the Predator. Now, further proof of this is the lever action shotgun. It looks very similar to Terminator's shotgun and also the animation it does when you shoot is how the Terminator reloads the shotgun. Also in the Agent Jonesy's backpack, you can find a pair of glasses hinting that it's the Terminator. After seeing the Predator is in the Fortnite map, Agent Jonesy is bringing Terminator to keep the Predator away from the rest of Fortnite. And also one more person might be brought to the POI to fight the Predator Mandalorian. Now, since being crashed in the desert, he has been moving around, setting up camps, and every update we see him moving. At first, we thought he was just patrolling around the zero point and was just doing what he was brought here to do, stop people from escaping the Fortnite loop, but people noticed that he is in fact slowly heading northwest. Now, why would he move towards that direction? And there's only one destination that is in the northwest direction that makes sense, and that is the Stealthy Stronghold POI. I think John Jones has told Mandalorian that he should head towards the Stealthy Stronghold because the Seven has brought their first weapon, which is the Predator, and they don't want to risk it, so Mandalorian will be helping the Terminator or Dutch to defeat the Predator. Also, Sheena BR tweeted this on Twitter. Now, we should expect a big Fortnite event for this because this has the potential to be one of the biggest events ever. Also, you guys should expect more collaboration coming up now that the Seven is starting to bring more characters from different dimensions as well, mainly bad guys. And Agent Jonesy will keep bringing heroes. I think there is going to be a massive war at the very end. And again, we might be able to join in like the previous Fortnite event. Fams, I'm going to leave you guys with this question. Who would you bring to the Fortnite world if you were Agent Jonesy? As always, it's been a pleasure. Use code SAMJAM in the item shop. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. My name is SAMJAM and I'll See you later. Peace.